Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I uh, want to get back to Psycho Performance uh, for just a bit and talk about uh, enhancing your Psycho Client Tool performance. And uh, that has to do with Content Editor specifically. Now, we already know that we should be keeping the number of items in any single location under 100. There is one more rule that we should be careful about, is keeping the number of versions for each item under 10. That's uh, kind of another rule of thumb for the content editor. What happens is uh, the content editor performance starts slowing down so um, as the number of versions increases. In particular, sort of a rule of thumb is number 10. Um, is over 10 is when you'll start noticing the uh, degradation in um, uh, speed of the content editor. So if you're having problems with the content editor, that's one thing that you can take a look at is uh, do your items um, have more than 10 versions on them? Um, the reason why the content editor slows down is it has to run through all the versions and uh, sort of cache them, grab the data for all of them uh, when it renders it. So how do you do that? How can you find out if you already have this problem? Well, you can use PowerShell, uh, PowerShell Extensions modules, uh, module to run a quick script. Ask uh, your system administrator if you're a content editor or marketer. Ask your uh, developer to create a quick script that you can use to check for that on a regular basis. Now, for new solutions, or maybe as an improvement to an existing SQL solution, what I would actually recommend is to create a SQL rule uh, that can go back um, and actually keep track of item versions in, uh, in real time. Now, John West wrote a great article about this, Rules Engine Actions to Remove Old Versions in Sitecore ASP.NET CMS. Make sure to bookmark this article. What he talks about here is creating a set of rules. We're going to skip over all the technical stuff here and jump right to the uh, Rules Engine screenshot right here. So. What that does is it creates a, um, he talks about creating a number of rules that can help us manage the item versions. And as a result, as you can see, we have uh, um, such actions as archive versions beyond a certain number or older than so many days, delete versions beyond a certain number, older than so many days, or recycle versions. So uh, we can delete archive or recycle or we can even run a specific script. So this is very helpful. Um, as you can see, we can uh, uh, create a rule where, um, uh, let's see, um, as you can see on this example, what we're doing is setting it true, so the rule always runs and it always applies to us um, when we're dealing with items. And what we're saying here, recycle versions beyond five older than one day. So this is a great article. Uh, if you're a developer, I would recommend implementing this uh, in all your Psycore solutions uh, as kind of a, a part of the foundational Psycore package. Um, if you haven't seen this before, or haven't heard about issues with the content editor and item versions, I highly recommend implementing this. So there you go. Uh, make sure to keep your item versions under 10 and uh, uh, that'll keep your content editors and um, really anyone who uses the content editor in Sitecore happy. So hopefully you like this tip. Um, again, my name is Vasily Fomchev. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, uh, give me some thumbs up if you like the video. And for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.